What's going on everybody? I told you in the last video that I got a new bike. This is it. We are currently aboard my 2021 Harley Davidson Iron 1200 Sportster. And uh, let me first of all say that uh, in some of my previous videos, you know me, I've never been a huge fan of, um, of having, having everything that everyone else had. Um, I, I've not necessarily hated on Harley in the past. It's just always been one of those things where if that's what everyone else had, then, then I thought it wasn't cool to be part of the in crowd with the with whatever. Um, I'm like that with music, I'm like that with movies, and I'm not trying to be a hipster or anything, but like, um, I've probably missed out on a, on a bunch of bands that way. I've missed out on a bunch of good movies that I've later went back and listened to that band or, you know, watched that movie and thought, well, shit, you know, because I was being stubborn and trying to be too cool for school or I didn't want to be part of the in crowd that I really missed out on a great band or missed out on a great film. And that's how I feel currently about the, uh, the Harley Davidson Iron 1200 here. Um, when you go back at my past and look at the motorcycles I've had, many of the uh, Japanese cruisers I had that were, you know, 80s and 90s bikes, um, mostly early 80s, honestly. Most of my motorcycles have been the early 80s Japanese bikes. When you look at those bikes, most of them have been emulating the cruiser feel of this exact, you know, of a Sportster. Um, now that's debatable to a large degree, of course, but just the overall cruiser, when most people think cruiser, they're going to think Harley Davidson. Um, first and foremost, that's not to say there aren't good uh, metric uh, cruiser bikes. There's, there's some good ones. But um, when you ask me what a motorcycle feels like, if if you could go into my head and pull out the uh, the exact experience of riding a motorcycle and what a motorcycle feels like, you're probably going to come up with something extremely similar to this. I'm going to be real honest. When I ride this bike, it just feels like a motorcycle. There's no other way to really explain it for me. Um, uh, to, for those of you who are new or this is your first time seeing me or whatever, I'm 6'1". Um, and what's weird is I, I've had a lot of people my height or taller say that the Sportster is uncomfortable for them because they're 6'1", 6 6'2", 6 and, and above. But honestly, I'm 6'1", and most of that's torso. I have a 31-inch inseam. So the uh, seating position here of my legs is not, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable on this thing. Um, no problems with, with the leg position. The handlebars on these mini apes are great. I would not have thought that. My, my buddy's got a Harley and I rode it with full apes and I hated it. But these mini apes just are they're perfect. Um, and yeah, they're kind of, uh, they're kind of like the old buckhorn style, but they're a little, little, little longer, I guess. But, um, yeah, as far as ergonomics, and, and this is by no means an official review of this motorcycle, I'm just telling you my, uh, my experiences with it so far. Um, the ergonomics are just perfect for me. I, uh, I could not ask for anything better. I may eventually get a, uh, pillion seat, and I know a pillion on a Sportster is a crazy person idea anyway, especially as big as I am. I'm about 300 pounds, again, 6'1". Um, but my girlfriend's pretty tiny, and I think she could uh, go on the back pretty easy. Um, let's talk about the suspension. Um, I'm, actually, let me back up and say that I'm, first of all, over the moon with this motorcycle. I absolutely 
Uh, I owe Harley Davidson an apology for the years of me refusing to get one. Um, this bike is great. I love this little bike. Little, uh, I love this bike. Um, so I owe Harley an apology. I'm sorry, Harley Davidson, uh, for refusing to get a sporty. Um, let me next say that the suspension is uh, not the best. Everybody, you know, it's got all the typical sporty stuff that, that people change. The uh, suspension would be the A number one thing because I'm going to be honest, uh, I've told you guys before that my girlfriend has a little SG250 from CSC and honestly that bike rides better over humps and bumps and uh, potholes and all that kind of thing than this bike does and that's insane to me that a uh, $2,300 motorcycle should handle bumps and, and shocks bumps and uh, jolts better than this but I'm going to pull in here just a second and let me also say that the Harley turn signals are not my favorite it's going to take some getting used to because of course all my bikes have had uh Holy crap, guys, I got a sports gender neutral. Do I get a, do I get some kind of award or something? So, yeah, there it is. 2021 Harley-Davidson Iron 1200. Uh, the black denim. Um, they had me at the paint scheme. There's something about that black and green and the old AMF style. But, man, they just, they hooked me easy. And I'll apologize. I'm sure the audio is shit. I'm out of breath. And it's not from anything other than the fact that my sinuses are destroyed this time of year but uh, there's the walk around I mean it's it's bone stock even the grips I've not done anything yet and I honestly don't know that I will do a whole lot um, just you know some of the basic things probably suspension I said um, let me also say that I am tremendously impressed with this 1200 motor uh, fuel injected Evo I think you Harley guys can correct me if I'm wrong and I'm sure you will but uh, this motor is surprisingly buttery smooth it has got all the torque that I would ever want in a bike I'm not a fast boy in my old age. I like to just cruise, man. Um, I think it, it, it'll easily do, you know, it'll easily do highway stuff, but I would very much want some kind of windshield um, for that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, man, I, I just, I'm in love with it. Um, that's not to say, again, um, you know, my, my history is I've, I've rode my whole life pretty much, um, since I could get on a bike as a kid, I've had a motorcycle, and, uh, it's just, I've always loved it, something I'll always want to do, but I took a few years off, I got divorced a few years back, and, uh, one thing led to another, and, and the bike that I had, and I still have my Suzuki, uh, GS650, which, you know, it was kind of cafe, I had cafe the bars out a little bit and stuff, but uh, I still love that bike, but I let it sit, and then blah, 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 piston rings are fried, motor's pretty much going to need a rebuild if I'm going to do anything with that, but uh, long story short, it's in the barn, so last year, being 2020, I purchased a CSC RX4 adventure bike that I also still have and love. We gon' kill her. But yeah, I still have the adventure bike, still make content with it. My last video was on it. Um, it's just two different animals, two different skill sets. Um, the, the plan was always to have the uh, the RX4 
for like little weekend trips with my girlfriend and, and whatever. And then my around town bike, I, I was going to get a cruiser, and I had been eyeballing the Royal Enfield uh, the 650 Interceptor, which I mean, it's still a cool little bike. But I got such a good deal on this thing that I just about couldn't pass it up. Um, and so I'm kind of selling out in my old age on my, I wouldn't say I'm anti, my, my anti-Harley stance. I wouldn't say I was ever anti-Harley. I just never thought I'd be the dude to go out and get one. But here we are. So, yeah. Um, great little bike. It's, it's exactly what I need and want in my current riding level. My buddy's already asking me if I was going to trade it in on a street ride, and I'm like, no, I'm not. I'll, I wanted a 1200. I had a, other options, but this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted the 1200 iron because I know the kind of riding I'm going to be doing is going to be mostly like this where I'm, you know, farting around at 60 miles an hour and under. Just if I'm out for a little cruise or going around town or whatever, um, I wear a full face helmet so I can still hit the interstate in short bursts, but I, I don't do a whole lot of. Uh, Hot, big highway travel anyway. It's mostly stuff like this. Just cruising around town. Uh, just to get out. I'm working from home right now, so it's nice just to take 30 minutes sometimes to go hop on the bike. Uh, so let me know what you think in, in the comments. Is, is the Sporty a good, a good bike still? I know that's a, a controversial topic. Uh, a lot of the Harley guys treat this like it's a girl's bike. Which I, I get. I mean, it's it's nimble. It's it's agile. It's fairly light, but uh, it's still got plenty of power. And like I said, I'm six one, and I'm comfortable on this thing. It is just I don't know that I could make it, oh, sporty, any more comfortable for me. Um, even the stock seat when I'm by myself, this solo seat is just perfect. The, uh, the RX-4, even, when I'm riding it, my right hand goes numb a little bit. And I guess it's just seating position, or maybe I'm pushing the, the way it's got me leaned into the bars a little bit. Maybe that's causing it. But when I'm riding this bike, man, it does not happen. I do not get the numbness in my right hand. It like, stays good the whole time. Um, I don't know. And, and a lot of people are like, oh, I couldn't imagine riding this for very long, and I've taken a couple of pretty decent little trips on it so far, or rather stints on it, and so far, man, I've not had any, like, I'm not going on an iron butt challenge anytime soon or anything, but, like, so far, so good. Oops. My bad, my bad. Couldn't see around that truck. Got a little distracted. Probably edit that part out. Just kidding, I'm not that dude, I don't give a shit. So yeah, man, new bike. So I'll probably be making content with this. I'll still be making the RX4 content. Still plan on making just motorcycle content in general. I just haven't this year. Things have been busy. And uh, the, the way my schedule's been, it's like when I can ride, I don't have time to necessarily you know, grab everything. Um, I've at least got part of my GoPro and audio issues solved. Um, still need a better microphone for this. And uh, honestly, this helmet is not the best. It lets in a lot of air. But I do appreciate you if you're watching this. Please like, comment, join the discussion with me. And, uh, you're more than welcome to, uh, join me on my little motorcycle adventure here, guys. Um, so, appreciate you watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. And, uh, I'll see you out there on two wheels, hopefully.